Hello, everybody, and welcome back to S Stanley's par Stanley Parable. I was gonna say Singularity. It's definitely not that game. So, <laughs> yeah, um, we just fell down a hole, and we lost the, uh, the guy. There's no sound in here that I can hear. Um, yeah, we. I don't know where the narrator is. Oh, okay, that's a, that's a big ledge. Can I fall? I feel like I'll fall off this. Oops. Yeah, that's probably better to just drop me in this area than let me have free roam again. Free rain about where I go. There's a lot of area in here. How am I going to explore all of this? So much. Oh, hey, this is the choice room. Okay. Um, I, I don't know. Let's just explore then. Let's not explore that way apparently. They didn't like that. <sighs> uh, ooh, lights. What's all that? Anything cool in there? No, okay. I'll just keep walking then. I can crouch? Why can I crouch in this game? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I was just about to sneeze. I feel worse that I didn't sneeze. You know how that feeling is, right? Where you just got that feeling. And then it just, no, not gonna happen. Oh, now my face feels weird. That's great. Gotta click all of the buttons. Oh, by the way, this is the uh, original room. Uh, the original room. For, uh, like, the beta version, basically. Or, like, the first... The, Okay. I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Yeah, I Down found in that. Wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice. Yeah. And if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. I'm pretty He'll yep. understand yep. soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end. I don't need you. Out of the chaos I'm a strong, independent future. man. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. Ooh, the end will, will be you? here soon. Will you? Very soon. How soon? I can wait. How soon is soon? Because soon could be like a year. If you're thinking in like hundreds of years, then a year is soon. If you're talking in days then a couple hours is soon but apparently right now we had I'm still surprised that the developers put that much detail into clocks I mean they actually have them as functional clocks all of his co-workers were gone what could it mean Stanley anything. decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay. No done. matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Oh. How do I get over? Can I get over this? Or I'll just slide off. Of Stanley it. went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference. Nor did it advance the story in any way. I'll touch whatever I want. You can't tell me how to live my life. Can I? 
Can I get back up this? Can I? Oh, there we go. Now there needs to be a way to get over this thing. God dang. Man, I don't even know where I clicked last time. Man, man. Can I, can I, no? I'll come back to you. I'm gonna come back to you. You're being ignored for now, but I'm coming back to you. Who just leaves papers everywhere? I already brought that up in the last video. Click. Click. Anything else left on? Can't be leaving on computers. Click. Oh. I did a thing. Did I leave computers on in there? Oh, sorry. Click. No? Okay, I'm good. Now what way should I go? That is the question, I believe. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Mm, I, I don't I don't really want to, but just this, I, I will this time. For now. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief. Stanley Tomorrow. decided to go Complete. up to his boss's office, yes, hoping he might find an talking. answer there. Uh, tomorrow. Complete today's unfinished agenda items. Write next day's agenda. Reflect. Well, that works. Targets. Push for funding for R&D of... Yeah. R&D of new coffee machine. Check. Uh, standardize graphs 40 times wide. Uh, ongoing. Okay. Get Chris out of the broom closet. Who was sitting in the broom closet and why? Not cost efficient. Uh, fair enough. Synergize the papers. You gotta synergize everything in business. Everything's gotta be synergized. I mean, look at that. Synergize papers. Hire someone to synergize papers. Papers are too synergized. Fire paper guy. Ooh. How do you too syn how do you synergize it too much? Hire somebody to fire the paper synergizing. That seems very uh inefficient. Uh who moved my desk? Please keep the targets on the topic of <laughs> Okay, the future was yesterday, tomorrow is now. Um, sure, that doesn't make sense. Oh, sorry about that, man. How to solve a dispute with the co-worker. Light ball up inside you, take it out passive-aggressively on... Okay. Using slides to share... Nope, okay. I'm not reading that. Bye, quarterly post-review... Review. The review of the review. Very important. <laughs> okay. Uh, synergize core value expenditures. Gotta make sure not to two or over synergize this broom closet. Stanley stepped into the broom closet. So there was Chris... nothing here. So he turned around and got back on track. But Chris was stuck in the blue broom closet. Am I gonna be able to find him if I stay in here? There was nothing here. No choice to make. Duct tape. No path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. No Good. reason to still be here. Can I take the duct tape? Duct tape's always useful. Pretty it nice in here. Baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. Don't close doors on me like anything. that. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is. He's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. <laughs> uh. <laughs> so. Are you are you really still in the broom closet? Yeah, a little standing bit. Standing around doing nothing. Oh, why? 
close that. Me some explanation here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. It's nice in here. Nice and secluded, just like my office. I can click on all the things I want. You like, do realize look at that broom. No just or click in all like. over that broom. If I'd said, Stand click all over that the broom closet, my bucket. would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. So, I never would have thought to mention it. But it's a nice room. You can't just ignore a nice room. You gotta fully Maybe explore too, everything. This is somehow its own branching path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, <sighs> "Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The exactly. broom closet ending was my favorite." It, I hope your friends find this. If concerned. that's an ending, heck, that's probably the best ending. Oh, but that's leaking. Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. He probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. Oh, so that all with drug money. Also, That's Stanley so is addicted to drugs and hookers. <laughs> wow. Mean. Well, I've come to a very Whoa. definite conclusion about what's going on right now. That's just mean. Your Did he hear that? Call me fat and ugly? I can only be one of those at a time. Because there's nothing here. Too much is over. Bone bone. Shut down your central nervous system and yes. you collapsed on the keyboard. Well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. How can I alert somebody Hello? if I die? Anyone who happens to be oh. nearby, You'll do it. the person at this computer is dead. He or she has fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. <laughs> it's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place at the computer, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming, so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. You almost done? All right. When you've done that, just step out into the hallway. Um... I don't know. That's pretty nice in here. Anything? Got anything else to say to me? You already called me fat and ugly. And stupid. That's three things. I can only do one thing at a time. Come on. You think Stanley is a multitasker? Well... Ah, second player. It's good to have you on board. I guarantee you can't do any worse than the person who came before you. Broom closet? What's in here? You too? Unbelievable. I'm at the mercy of an entire species of invalids. Yes. Perhaps there's a monkey nearby you can hand the controls to. Sorry, I'm Fish, not playing in a zoo. Fungus. Look, you can hammer out the details. I'm not particularly picky. I'll just <laughs> be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again. Is he gonna say anything else? Is he gonna call this person fat, stupid, and ugly? No, nothing. You got nothing for me. No more insults. That was all of it. And that I got the job with drug money. <laughs> oh, what? Dang it. This probably closes. Coming to a staircase, Durr. Stanley walked upstairs rid. to his boss's office. Just rid all over the place. Why is it so bright outside? It's like just white. That's locked. Okay. Can I open? Executive bathroom. Can I open that? Why won't you let me open it? I'm executive enough. Haven't you seen me? I'm, I'm, I'm apparently... I can handle being fat, stupid, and ugly at the same time. Now that takes some skill. Especially for Stanley. Because, like I said... It's just, he's not a multitasker. Mm, yep, yep. Can I get... 
Staring into the manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to That's discover not an indication of any human life. Can I play the piano? Unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. Nothing. What dark okay. secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And oh, so the it? boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two, eight, four, five. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Are you sure I don't know this? Because those ducks are telling me. Or quails. Those foul like objects. Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs. Trying to input anything on the device was used to getting good at it. By simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code. Look at all these little knickknacks. Amazing. He He's stepped into got, the like, newly picture opened family. passageway. Family pictures. How kind. Then, okay, I guess I kind of have to go that way because this is closed up. Yeah, that's very closed. Generator, can I turn you off? Anything back here? Nothing. Okay, down the elevator I shall go. Jeez. Don't spark in my face. Loading, 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 more loading, and some more loading. Something tells me that this game is loading. Descending uh, deeper into no. the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring so? of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to just think for himself, just, to question the nature of his job. Can I leave feel this, this area? When for years, it had never occurred to him. This question would not now. go unanswered for long. I got smirt. After you call me Stanley stupid, walked straight ahead through I the got large so door that smirt. read Mind Control Facility. Mind Control Facility. And it's the app. Hmm. What's a app? Scap. Oh, the main control fiscality. Eh, he's telling me to go this way, so or, um, I, I should follow his directions or something like that. The lights Click. rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Yes. Stanley is very strong. He may be fat, stupid, and ugly, but one thing he's got down is he is strong. Now the monitors jump to life. Their true nature revealed. Uh, what Each am I? Two, four, the number two, seven, of an four. employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. Four, two, seven. The lives of so many individuals reduced uh, to images on a screen. And Stanley, four, two, seven? one of them, right? eternally monitored in this so place like where this area meant nothing. Uh, what is, what is that? What is that? Four two seven. Yep. There we go. There's Stanley's. Hey, look at that! It's my office. Yay! It seems very empty. Okay, I'll continue onward. Boop. Press this the mind control facility. It was too horrible to believe. Who's employee be one? True. Had Stanley really been under someone's two control blank all ones. this time? Was the this the only one. reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Probably. Um. So I think I just kind of have to go this way. Dang it. No, locked me in. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. I wanted it. to walk all the way back. In someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Yes. Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Maybe. That light was pretty blinding. 
But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or concerned. This is a power button. Walking, eating, Can I click working. That? All of it monitored and commanded the power button. from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Hey, you don't know that. I could do whatever I want. Hmm. Shh. Stanley Cap is stealthy around here. Shh. Just in case anybody's here. You never know. Just gotta, just gotta. Okay. Nobody's here. Walk around the corner, five people. Hey, Stanley, what you doing? Why are you in here? Yeah. I don't know. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, mm. to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Should I turn it on? I could turn it back on. Alright, I'll also turn it back or turn it off. Why is it just on standby though? Or idle? I'll turn it off for now. Rising chill yes. of uncertainty. Was it over? I can't see anything right now. Yes. He had won. Okay. He had defeated the machine. Okay, go back anyway. himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. Are you sure? And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened. Stanley reflected on Dang how many it. puzzles still lay unsolved. I can't travel Where any back. I can't gone? travel backward anymore. How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? Um, As sunlight streamed into the chamber, all he realized of none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Stanley Perhaps just don't his care. Goal had not been to understand, need. but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Those are some nice steps. Whatever steps. life he lives, it Can will walk be out? his. Pretty. And that was all. Is he in a to know. house? It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Why is there a like small house type thing right next to this? Big old facility. Oh, pretty. Big old facility. Eh, guess I'll take the step. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin. Can't just look the straight of down. Liberation. The immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. Are you sure? And Stanley was happy. Is he though? Are you sure? How do you know what Stanley feels? I beat the game! Yay! But the end is never the end is never. The end is loading. Quick. Can I just click that? Do something? But Stanley simply couldn't I didn't click the that. pressure. What um, if he had to make a decision? What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? Yes. He had never been trained for that. No. This couldn't go any way except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. Yes. And here I can be happy forever. I will be Yay. happy. Stanley waited. Hours passed. Then days. Had years gone by? Yes. He no longer had the ability to tell. But the one thing he knew for that sure beyond any like doubt only a few was that if he waited by. long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Soon, very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. 
Now it's just a little bit closer. Now it's even closer. Oh, what's this? Here it comes. Okay. Alright. The end is never the end, it's never the end, it's loading. Can I click my phone? I can't call anybody. 911, everybody disappeared. A little help? No? Uh, All of his co workers were gone. What hmm. could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. I Perhaps shall he had simply missed a stop memo. right here. I'm gonna sit right here because I am out of time. So, thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!